Today is the first Sunday of Advent, cycle three. In the Christian context, period of four weeks of preparation for the Feast of the Incarnation, the coming of Christ as a man. The coming of Christ has three dimensions. A, the historical and monumental event in history when God assumed a human body. The Word became flesh and put his tent among us. B. The coming of Christ to us daily, especially in the Eucharist. C. The second coming of Christ, which will also be a day of judgment. They are connected because they form part of the plan of God for our salvation. The incarnation will lead to Christ's sacrifice on the cross, which reconciles us to God. The institution of the church and its sacraments and the aid of the Holy Spirit help us on our daily conversion. The second coming, Christ will unite all the faithful, both the living and the dead, to Himself. The first reading was from the prophet Isaiah, who is the spokesperson on behalf of the people of Israel to God. The people have recognized their stupidity and their guilt for placing their trust in false gods. They are ready to repent and to allow God to form them anew. God is the potter. He alone can shape their lives into something beautiful. Are we willing submit our lives, our dreams, our hopes, our desires to God and allow Him to reshape them in ways that are pleasing to Him during this Advent season. We have to ask God each morning to reshape our lives. It will not happen by just thinking about it. St. Paul in his letter to the Corinthians reminds them and us that we have the spiritual gifts necessary to cope with the distractions and the temptations that can disrupt our pursuit of our heavenly home while awaiting the coming of Christ. Paul tells us you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the Gospel, Jesus is speaking of his second coming at the end of time. He tells us, but of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. The Son of Man will come in glory when we least expect. It will also be a time of judgment. We have to be prepared now. Have you gone to confession recently? Have you forgiven others? Have you been charitable to the poor and needy? It is hard for us to have a sense of urgency 
when the church has already waited for almost 2,000 years. We live in a culture that is impatient and does not like to wait and to stay focused on what we're doing. We are easily bored, and therefore seek distractions, checking our cell phones, taking selfies, playing games, listening to music, sleeping, etc. We can remain focused on our preparation for the coming of Christ by creating a checklist of things we need to do to put our spiritual lives in order. Without reflection, without a checklist, we we'll probably get nothing done. While Christ may not return soon, our lives could end suddenly. Therefore, heed the advice of Jesus. Be alert. Be prepared. 